Bruce, go ahead. Yeah, uh, Coach, first, congrats. A uh, couple things. You said early in the year you created this crazy schedule you got going to Syracuse and uh, we're going to UVA, playing UVA in two weeks, going to Notre Dame. You wanted your team to be tested. Do you feel like you're satisfied that it's been tested? And also, did you feel the sh some of the shooting was a little too quick? All right. Like the shots were coming not with patience. I, I kind of felt that way. Yeah, I, I felt like, you know, and, and at halftime, I thought halftime came at a good time. You know, we had the lead, which is great. So, but sometimes it doesn't always feel like you're winning. Um, and I know there was some frustration because um, our guys, listen, as much as we have great respect for Notre Dame, they're really good. Um, I, I think, and, and defensively, when, you, you know, you're, I think it was 5-4 at half, like holding Notre Dame 4 is pretty incredible because um, they're very, very good. But I think with our guys right there, expectations are pretty high. So, you know, 5 for them, they feel like maybe they left some on the table and just felt like we were rushing things. We were kind of taking the first and not the best. Um, and, you know, their goalie is so good that, you know, if you don't take good shots and, and they're not well placed, they're probably not going in. Um, so we kind of talked about in the second half, you know, maybe we went to more of the invert game a little bit early. Um, and I thought Kyle Long was fantastic coming out of half, uh, made a couple huge plays for us. He got assist to Anthony and he ran by his guy and um, just really proud of him because I know he, he didn't finish the first half the way he wanted, but he had the poise and the maturity just to come out and let that go and, and give us a huge lift. Um, so I thought that was great. And um, I really, I thought that, um, you know, Jack Brennan played well. I thought Jack Horace played well. Um, and at times I thought Owen did a decent job. Um, but that group was a huge lift for us today, um, you know, especially when we needed them. And as we've told both groups, we're going to need both group, groups um, to kind of get down the end of the season, go where we want to go. And, and I thought those guys gave us quality, quality minutes today. Network solutions, managed IT, and technical support. Viner Four Gates makes your company work. Solutions to protect your business from WatchGuard, including firewalls and endpoint protection. Protect your company and make your company work with solutions from Viner Four Gates. Heart and toughness. Uh, things didn't go as planned a lot, and I give Notre Dame a lot of credit for that. Uh, but they just kept battling and sticking together. So um, obviously happy to kind of get out of here with a W and, and, and a lot to work on, but, um, you know, makes the road back a, a lot easier. We'll start with Kevin Brown. Hey, Coach, congrats on the win. You guys uh, went on a little run there in the third quarter and uh, got up to 8-4 to four at one point, and then they battled back to 9-8. To after that point, uh, just how pleased were you with your defense for conquering down and uh, all those uh, kind of quelling all those uh, Notre Dame attempts? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, they have. Anytime they put six guys out there, all six are real dangerous. Um, so we need to be pretty buttoned up. And um, you know, I thought Jesse had them really prepared, but I thought the guys had a good sense of what we were trying to do, and uh, certainly didn't start that way. Um, you know, first possession, we just didn't um, you know stay buttoned up. And um, but I think those guys rebounded from that. Um, so. You know, you got Kavanaugh, who's one of the best out there, but a lot of those other guys, uh, you know, like Jack of Ice is like one of 55, it's like one of the best players you just don't hear a lot about, but he's really, really good. Um, so I felt like those guys did a good job of kind of defending the knowns and uh, sliding when we needed to and recovering. And then at times when, you know, we made a mistake, you know, Logan kind of bailed us out. Um, and obviously Luke did an unbelievable job after the first quarter and, um, you know, kind of really tilted possessions in our favor. So even when things were not going well, we, we would get possessions back. Tony Wheeler, go ahead. Coach, great win. Uh, I want to talk about uh, your defensive midfield. They, through three quarters, they hold uh, Dobson, Jacoboyce, and Meyer to, you know, one assist on seven shots and five turnovers. Um, you know, they – Jack of gets a couple there in the, in the fourth, but can you talk about the, the work that your defensive midfield did on those three really, really good midfielders? Yeah, they, those guys, and they do a good job of getting out in space. Um, and, you know, they, they all do something a little bit different. Meyer was great on film last year, uh, last week. I think he had four against Georgetown of just kind of getting his hands free and scoring. Um, but, you know, he gets it from the right side. And then on the left side, you know, obviously you got the, the other two guys and, 
Um, even with a pole on him, 55 is a guy that you just, you know, you got to be ready to slide to as well, which a lot of people don't have a guy like that. So, um, you know, we were a little, we, we missed one late, um, you know, where he scored and give credit where credit's due. But uh, um, I thought those guys did a really good job, um, you know, and, and a lot of times we, we don't have to slide quite as much because of those guys, which makes the job of the guys behind them so much easier. Um, but. I think those guys have a good sense of if they do get beat, where they're going to get beat to. And, and those guys backed them up, whether it was Ajax or Matt or Brett, they were there when they needed them to be there. Logan Hill, go ahead. Hey, Coach, uh, congrats on the win. And you touched on this a little bit, but it was another big day for Logan McNaney in the net. Can you kind of talk about what he provided for you guys uh, throughout the game? Yeah, he, um, you know, when, when we needed him, it seemed like he, he would come up with a big save. Uh, I know the, there were a couple he would have loved to have back because that's kind of what he had mentioned. But uh, his, his ability to kind of make the next play um, and kind of keep his head just where it needs to be. And regardless of what happens, he's excited about the next opportunity. Um, it, it allows our defense to be very calm. Um, so I thought not only did he you know, make some good saves, but there are some times in the clearing game where I thought he really did a nice job as well. And uh, still some work to do in that area. Um, but I think they're a very, very good riding team. Um, anytime the ball hits the deck and the offensive end, uh, listen, 50 and 51, there's a good chance those guys are, if they don't get it, they're doing everything possible to get it. They are incredible um, in their offensive end. We'll take three more in this order, Emmett and then Bruce and then Nikki. So go ahead, Emmett. Coach, uh, I wanted to ask you um, another game we saw uh, at the end of the second and third quarters, uh, the other team going a bit of a run. Um, I wanted to ask you what you saw there and, and kind of talk about uh, what you're going to do to address that. Yeah, you know, they, they, they get a couple late. One was kind of on a botched clear. Um, you know, we just we weren't real patient on that one. And I thought for a good amount of the game, we were super patient, which is great. Um, and again, that's, you know, go back to Kavanaugh, just fighting and scrapping. And, and, you know, those guys, they just are relentless in their own end. And um, you know, we just didn't do a great job of getting the ball out there. It would have been nice to get the ball out and, and obviously had the last possession. So um, they got it back. I think we we're a little bit gassed and, and unfortunately made, they made a play. Um, so definitely something that we want to be better at, um, kind of finishing quarters a little bit better. Um, we've had moments where we did a good job. Um, and then, you know, there have been times this year where we have not played the, in the quarter as well, especially on the road at Syracuse. I thought they did a really good job against us, getting some goals late to, to kind of carrying them in either at halftime or into the fourth. We'll finish up with Nikki Walcott for coach. Yeah, coach, I know Bruce kind of touched on it, but I know after the first quarter, Weirman won 18 of 20 uh, uh, face off. So I kind of wondered how you thought your team uh, worked offensively. Obviously, scored the least amount of goals this season as against Notre Dame. It's always a dog fight. But um, were you satisfied with their production? Um, I think, you know, the face off part, I thought the guys did a, a, obviously a really good job. Not only Luke, but I thought the wing play was really good. Um, I, they threw a couple different things at us. Um, and I thought Carol Kennedy, who's yeah, been yeah, working with those guys, did a really good job this week of anticipating they went to two uh, poles at times um, and they went to four um, who's more of a counter guy so uh, we had some things kind of planned just in case and we got through a few of them but not all of them because uh, I thought they did a great job last week early on um, the Georgia Georgetown faceoff guy did very well but in the second half they went to more of that two pole look and and they did very well because their poles are very active uh, six and 46 especially those guys do a really good job of getting in there, um, kind of creating chaos. But Luke did such a good job of putting the ball to good spots that it allowed our short stick or, you know, John Gepper to get it in space. And then it was just a matter of navigating some pressure, which against them is, is, is sometimes hard. All right, guys, we're going to go get some players for you. So bear with us here. Thank you. Thanks, guys.